15 photos of Gwen Stefani. A lot of people have pointed out that Gwen often looks and dresses like a teenager when she is actually pushing 50. For a lot of her fans, Gwen Stefani is a legend. While a lot of singers have faded into celebrity obscurity over the years, Gwen has managed to outshine everyone in more ways than one. She still sells hit records, her songs get played on the radio, she's a star of one of the biggest competition shows on television and she makes headlines for all of the things she does in her personal life. People still want to know everything there is to know about Gwen Stefani. What's more, there are people out there that pay big bucks to act and be like her, too. Yet, and with every celebrity out there, Gwen Stefani also has her critics. As a matter of fact, a lot of people have pointed out that Gwen often looks and dresses like a teenager when she is actually pushing 50. I mean, to each their own but sometimes you can't help but scratch your head at the things that Gwen wears in public. With that being said, here are 15 photos that prove Gwen Stefani should not dress like a teenager anymore. I mean, some of these styles aren't even cute or flattering on her. Let us know what you think. 15. Her youthful style. A lot of people say that Gwen Stefani manages to look so youthful just because she acts and dresses youthful. But is this necessarily true? They say that the clothes make a woman but when it comes to someone like Gwen, we can't help but think 14-year-old girl. Now, we don't want to be mean, but someone has to call it out. Gwen Stefani often looks like she is getting ready for a middle school dance rather than a simple park play date with her kids. And that's something her critics just don't get. They also say that you should act and dress your age. It will actually make you look younger when you accept the fact that you are what your age is. Right? Hopefully Gwen Stefani will understand that one day, too. 14. Her behavior. But then again, this is the same girl who likes to cling on to her boyfriend like he's the last man on earth. Exhibit 8. Blake Shelton. Gwen and Blake have been dating a little over a year and yes, Gwen loves to share every little detail about their life behind the scenes together. What's more, she acts like an obsessed girlfriend from high school that won't give her boyfriend room to breathe. A lot of people see Gwen as the stuck-in-love girlfriend who obsesses about her boyfriend to no end. The most cringe-worthy moment was when she shared the photo of her kissing Blade while keeping her eyes on the camera on Instagram. Hey you! We didn't need to see that Gwen and we certainly didn't think you were so desperate, too. 13. But she claims not to be like that anymore. Gwen said several years ago, before, I was really passive. All I cared about was being in love with my boyfriend. I didn't have any creative power, nothing. I don't know that person anymore. HMM. We have a hard time believing that, and here's why. Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton really, truly love to push their romance in the public spotlight. Even though both their critics and their fans are over it, they still like to show the world that they are madly in love with one another. We don't know why Gwen does this, but she often comes off as very insecure. For someone with her celebrity and caliber. You'd think that she wouldn't be so needy with Blake. But she hasn't proved to us that she's the opposite of what she says. Gwen, just give him soon room to breathe already. 12. Is she just trying to fit in? A lot of people think that Gwen Stefani dresses a certain way simply because she wants to fit in with the younger crowd. In other words, she wants to be forever young. And while there's nothing wrong with it in theory, Gwen sometimes forgets that she's a celebrity who is always in the public eye. People mock her for the ridiculous outfits she wears and for her desperate attempt to stay relevant. Wouldn't it just be easier if she acted like her true self? Plus, it should be a general rule that you should never try to act or compete with someone that is much, much younger than you. Instead, you should use your experience and your confidence to let your best qualities shine. Someone needs to have an honest conversation with Gwen about this. 11. Every day is not Halloween. Gwen Stefani has made it no secret that she loves Halloween. As a matter of fact, she is obsessed with the holidays. She loves the fact that you can dress any way you want and look as outrageous as you want, too. And while there's nothing wrong with that because a lot of people do love Halloween for those same reasons you can't expect people not to have something to say about your outfits when you treat every day like it's the holidays, too. Adulthood just doesn't work out that way. Little toddlers can get away with it, but someone like Gwen sure can't. She's a mother with three kids for crying out loud. Yet, 
Gwen sees things very different. She once said, being in a band you can wear whatever you want, it's like an excuse for Halloween every day. 10. Is she vain? Whenever Gwen Stetani makes a public appearance, and it doesn't matter if she's on the red carpet or if she is just out and about with her kids, but she always makes sure that she has a full face of makeup. There is no way that she will ever allow people to see how she really looks like without all of the foundation, powder, heavy eyeliner and lipstick on. That's why some people can't help but ask this question, is Gwen Stetani vain? Perhaps, depending on how you look at it. She once said, if I wasn't even famous or had any success, I would still wake up and put tons of makeup on, and put on a cool outfit. That's always been who I've been my whole life, so that's never gonna change. I love fashion. I love getting dressed up. I love Halloween, too. 9. Does she have low self-esteem? Gwen Stefani is one person who looks like she always has high self-esteem. I mean, she exudes confidence each and every time you see her on the stage performing. Plus, a lot of people often call her one of the most beautiful women in the world. You never see a really bad picture of her. She looks flawless everywhere she goes and with everything she does. But Gwen has admitted that she does have her struggles. She said in the past, you know, I was chubby when I was a little girl. And I have all those issues everyone else has. But I try not to. And I've learned over the years that it's such a waste of time. And people like me whether I'm a little bit fatter or not. 8. She always wants to play dress up. For a lot of people, there's nothing wrong with playing a little dress up, right? I mean, it all depends on how you are dressing up and where you are dressing up, though. If you want to wear your favorite Disney princess dress in the middle of a shopping mall, there's a good chance that people will gawk or mock you. That is, unless you are three years old. Anyone beyond kindergarten shouldn't think it's okay to dress up just for the sake of dressing up. I mean, there are certain rules that come with adulthood if you know what I mean. Yet, again, Gwen Stetani sees things differently. She said, I was thinking that when I have children, that I should always dress as a character for them, so they think their mom is Alice in Wonderland or Cinderella. It would be totally messed up. 7. That red lipstick. It's no secret that Gwen Stefani was, is and will always be obsessed with her red lipstick. It's her signature color and it's something that she will wear, regardless if she is on television or just picking up a few grocery items from the store. Simply put, she can't live without her red lipstick. As a matter of fact, when Gwen Stefani once appeared on stage to perform with her boyfriend Blake Shelton, we almost didn't recognize her. And that's because she didn't have her red lipstick on. Instead, she opted for a nude color and to be honest with you, it looked like she was naked. We just couldn't believe our eyes. It's like Gwen is to different people with and without her red lipstick on. What do you think? 6. She knows she gets criticized. We can sit here and dissect every bizarre outfit that Gwen Stefani has ever worn but truth be told, she knows that people often criticize her for her wardrobe. And let's just make this very clear, Gwen Stefani is a very beautiful woman. She's a knockout. We just can't understand why she would wear clothes that make her look less stunning, if you know what I mean. And while Gwen gets it that she is often criticized, she hasn't done much about it. She once explained, it feels like the more I'm out there in the public I, the more criticism I get. You need to have confidence. That's what it takes to walk out there and sing the song in front of a huge group of people. 5. She worries about her curves. Here's something that almost every woman from every corner of the planet can't tell you. Obsessing about your image, your weight and your appearance sucks. It's just not worth it. You can't please people by trying way too hard to look like what society thinks is the perfect woman. That's just not going to happen. Everyone is built differently and instead of being ashamed of your curves, you should just embrace it. But Gwen has always been very, very open about her struggles and how she has to work hard to look the way she does. And according to Gwen, it's not easy and it's a struggle that she will have to put up with all her life. I'm like every other girl. I have to try really hard my whole life to try to be fit. And I'm super vain, she said. For, But she loves her pregnancy body. 
and while she might have a hard time saying no to dessert just because she wants to still fit into her super tight pants before she gets up on stage, Gwen has said that she loves being pregnant. As a matter of fact, she's never taken her pregnancy body for granted. All throughout her three pregnancies, she's cherished every moment she had with her baby inside of her. It's the only time in her life that she felt truly confident about the person that she is. Gwen has even said that she doesn't understand why other people would feel differently. I thought that I was going to be like this earth mother. When people would complain about being pregnant, I was like, what are you talking about? It's incredible. Just enjoy it, she's said. 3. On the worst dressed list. It seems like the older Gwen Stefani gets, the more times she ends up on the worst dressed list whenever she makes an appearance on the red carpet. And that's one place that she doesn't want to be. It's not doing her any favors and it's certainly not helping her legacy in the long term. Despite the fact that Gwen Stefani has an army of stylists, makeup artists and professional wardrobe assistants to help her make the right decisions, that just hasn't happened in recent years. Looking like a warped version of the kooky monster just isn't a good look on anyone. Trust us. While we know that it is Gwen's job to shock and look rock and roll, her style messages are having the opposite effect. I mean, would you wear this in public? 2. But not all of her outfits are so bad. Whenever Gwen Stefani does look and dress her age, we have to say, she knocks it out of the ballpark. Just because she's such a beautiful woman, she can easily wear anything in the world and make it look like a million dollar outfit. That is, when she drops the teenage look and wears things that flatter her. It doesn't happen very often. But when it does she almost always ends up on the best dressed list. Case in point, this shimmering dress that she wore during an appearance on a late night talk show. Not only does she have incredible lugs for days, but she also has a great body, a wonderful smile and a personality that shines. Now this is the Gwen Stefani that we love to see. It's too bad we don't see it often. 1. So what should Gwen do? Quite honestly. Nothing is going to change Gwen Stefani. The only person who is capable of making any decision about what she wears or how she wears it is Gwen herself. Sure, we can talk all day and night about how much she needs the style revolution but it's not going to happen unless she does it on her own terms. And while we still like Gwen for who she is and will be rooting for her no matter what we just don't want to see her looking and acting like a teenager for years to come. It's just not a good look, especially when you are nearing 50. Let the kids be kids while the adults act and look like adults. What do you guys think? Let us know in our comments section below.